Hello, welcome back to day seven of 25 days of holiday nails. And this is Snowy Evergreens. Um, I had, as most of my videos go, I originally planned on doing something different and then reverse direction or altered it slightly. But the main, I always wanted to do a snow scene with evergreens. It was originally going to be black and white, but I decided to do it uh, in green because I saw someone else post something similar um, in with like a robin's egg blue, and I thought that was really pretty, but I didn't want to do blue because I've been doing a lot of blues and purples uh, lately, so I decided to go green. Um, and I wanted to do more of like a sagey olive green, so I mixed it on my palette. And I don't know if there was hair on the palette or if there was hair tangled up in the brush, but I had a good seven minutes of me just trying to apply the color to the nail and having to pick off lint and hairs and couldn't figure out where they were coming from. Um, finally, I ended up switching brushes. That didn't seem to help. So I don't know what happened, but I think I finally worked through it. Maybe it was on the nail and I cured it in with some of the base gel. But um, anyway, I managed to get um, some good coverage with a little bit of lumpiness here and there, but with some extra coats and um, some gel base and then mattifying the nail after the fact I managed to cover over it and get it pretty well hidden, if I do say so myself. But this is going to be a pretty straightfor uh, straightforward progress uh, process. Um, as I said, it's a snow scene with evergreens and I've been, my sister was uh, sweet and she gave me a gift card knowing full well, for my birthday, knowing full well that I was going to use it for nail products. So I went on to Magpie, Pew, Magpie Beauty's website and I got all of these beautiful glitters and one of them is Yang, uh, the opposite of Yin. Um, going at some point in the future, I will do a yin and yang manicure, but for right now, I'm just using yang, using yang as my snow. And also, Madame Glam's white gel paint to lay down the base coat. Um, the coat that I put down right here went on a little thin, and when I dusted it over with the glitter, it didn't really cover all that well, so I wiped it off and reapplied the gel paint and then topped it again with uh, more glitter before curing. And then used a soft bristled brush to brush off all the excess after curing. And that's basically what I did with all three nails. I painted in my snowscape um, in increments. I didn't do ever a whole nail at once. Uh, dusted it with Yang, uh, cured it, brushed it off, and then finished whatever the design was for that particular nail as it's technically what would be called a sugar nail since you're then not coating over it with a bit with a top coat to finish it off once the glitter is on and dust the excess is dusted off the nail is finished and good to go i don't think it's something that i will ever do on my own manicures just because of the texture of it I'd be nervous that throughout the days and uh, the hours and days of wearing the manicure that I would play with it and pick at it so but I think it's gorgeous style and it definitely plays into the sneeze sneezing it plays into the sneezing because a lot of people have seasonal allergies and they sneeze a lot through the holidays it plays into the season of especially if you live up north and in colder climes of um, snowscapes and I painted in a little moose or a deer whatever you want to call it some snowflakes some I used the dotting tool from the Madame Glam's advent box that I got to lay in just some dots across some um, one or two of the nails or three did I do all three nails I may have done all three nails so just just to create that depth of um, smaller and larger snowflakes and 
that's basically it. I did um, forget to hit record, unfortunately, when I was painting in the reindeer. So um, that's a bit disappointing. But I'm going to be doing another manicure later on in December where I do a, uh, a reindeer-themed set of nails. So look forward to that. And that's going to be the total of my description and explanation and summation for this set of nails. So enjoy day seven. I will catch up at the end as always and enjoy the music.
I just wanted to break in here and say, first of all, sorry that I'm off camera. I do have a brand new setup, which I will show you in an upcoming video at some point when I have the time. But um, I, this is my first time applying gems using gem glue. And I didn't apply enough at first, so I picked off the gem, applied a little bit more, cured it, and then realized I used too much. So I tried going around it with a little bit of base gel and then dusting it with some more of the Yang powder, and that just ended up clouding uh, the iridescent pearl that I used to signify the center of the star on top of the tree. So I'm going to play with gems a little bit more in future uploads, but um, I'm not sure if I want to use gem glue or gel base. Basically anything that acts as a glue would work. Um, I may end up using a dotting tool instead of the brush that comes with the gem glue going forward. So that's going to wrap up day seven of 25 days of holiday nails. Thank you so much for joining me. As ever, I'm so glad to have you here. Thank you for your patronage. Please give me a like and a subscribe. Leave any comments down below and suggestions for upcoming video content. All the information for the products I use will be in the description box below. Please do give me a like and a subscribe and hit that bell so that you're notified whenever new videos are available. And I will see you in the next one tomorrow for day eight. Love you, bye. Thank you.